What's up, millennials? Nandito kami ngayon sa Gateway Cubao. And we will be summarizing the story by Caroline Howe. So guys, what's your idea about Chinese Filipinos? Uh, for me, Chinese Filipinos are very well known for being rich and has a lot of business. And for me, I think Chinese people are well known for being strategic. So Harvey, what do you think are the good and bad influences of the Chinese people? Chinese people has been involved in territorial issues with the Philippines as well as influential in the rise of the Filipino Chinese. So the story started when Caroline's father explained how he plants the sunflowers in a circular form. Then he uh, moved to the Philippines because he married Caroline's mother, which uh, restrained him in taking care of his sunflowers. But in the father's perspective, all the love and care that he gave to his sunflowers is now, is now transferred in his children. Yay. But back in China, in his sunflower farm, his relatives did not take care of his um, sunflowers. So his, sunflower, his sunflowers have died and they have to uh, dug it out because it produces a poisonous smell in their house. It is also stated here how his father tell his stories, how he used we when he is pertaining to himself. Growing up, his father did not know his own father or the grandfather of Caroline because his um, grandfather works in the Philippines. He has a small business there and the Japanese um, cut off his connections with his family so they did not have any connections so they did not or the father of Caroline did not know um, his father exists so back in China his father remembered how things were going there when the Japanese colonized the country and how the things go there is that the woman is um, taking the salt in the salt water while the man is holding the um, the rope while um, sitting beside the bucket and they just um, his father just stayed there because he is scared of the shadows also known as the Japanese colonizers because he could be um, uh, hurt in a way because he is scared because he could get hurt if he did something wrong so when Caroline's father was six, or, six years old, his grandfather went home and all his um, neighbors that are boys helped him unpack all the things that his grandfather had um, got in the Philippines and brought back in China. In the story, the author is describing her grandfather's physical appearance in literary way and she told every details of what happened to her grandfather in the hands of the Japanese. When he was also a Filipino soldier, we call it guerrilla. And in this part, Caroline mentioned the gifts that the father has received when his grandfather has rewarded due to his courageous deeds. And in this part, until the end of the story, the person who was most mentioned in the story was his father. Because his father suffered the most, especially during the times when the Japanese laid their hands in, the, in our country, which is the Philippines. Uh, like middle class to low class so it's kind of hard to live yeah. 
How about you, Regina? What are your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts about the story is that it's really sad, and you can see in the story that how the Filipinos are in the story how the family struggles during the colonization of the Japanese and how they struggle for three years. I would recommend the story because it has a lesson and and for me a story with a lesson is very important because you can cherish a thing after you read a story. <laughs> And I highly recommend this story because it gives rational thinking about what happened during the Japanese period on how the Japanese abused our powers. So for you, Desiree and Regina, what are the positive and negative sides of the story? The positive is that you will learn the facts and reality that really happened when the Japanese colonized some countries. The negative part of the story is that it changes the pers it will change the perspective of the people on how they see ja how they see the Japanese or the, the country Japan, especially Japan is being is known for being one of the most influential influential and powerful country in the world, and because of this overwhelming odds, it will automatically changes, especially on how they abuse our powers. So, can you indicate one literary theory that is related to the story? Marxism, because Marxism is a method of socioeconomic analysis that views social relations and class. Well, I agree because in the story, you can see some low class because of the Japanese colonization. Yeah. Let's yeah. wrap, guys. Uh Yo, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from the stories by Caroline House. See you in the next vlog. Bye!